Well, good morning, everybody, or I should say afternoon. It is May 14th, 2022. This is the first time I've gone herping in the month of May. And directly ahead, there is a gopher tortoise that is on the road. He's working his way off right now. He was foraging on something earlier. I don't think he knows that we're there or we're here. He's coming straight towards us. So I'm going to try and get closer and see what he's doing and do the best I can not to disturb him. But first, herp of the day. You can see that there is a second gopher tortoise who has walked from here and is now heading down the road this way. So that is really cool. That's a second gopher tortoise we've just seen wandering the road. We haven't road cruised anything else at this site, but we have seen, well, we've seen three gopher tortoises, one in the burrow, but we have now seen two that are on the road. So there he goes, or she.
So it just started raining. We're experiencing what I can best describe as spring showers here at this site. Um, so we haven't seen any snakes here today, which has been really surprising. We've been road cruising in here for miles. Um, we have seen several gopher tortoises along with a few armadillos, but no other herps other than the tortoises. So what I'm gonna do now is work my way out of here. Uh, we're gonna go over to the other sites that I wanted to visit today. And unless I see anything here, you'll probably see me, next time you'll see me, we'll be at the other sites. We are at the second site right now. I've This is an area that I've gone to on several occasions and it's been pretty productive so I'm curious to see what we're going to find. I'm going to try and actually catch this ground skink over there and then I'll get back to you. So we got our second, our third lizard species of the day. This is a young eastern fence lizard that's just on the side of this tree right here. And this is what they do. They kind of just run around the trees and they play like hide and go seek. He's already come over back to this side. Oh, I'm going to see if I can try and grab him so you can get a better look. But there was an eastern fence lizard on this tree. So what you see right here is actually a predated turtle nest. Um, some turtle nested here along the side of the trail and you can see over here and the nest got predated. So I was seeing a bunch of these holes, like here's the one right here. And I, was dying, and I was wondering what the heck are these holes doing here and they're just turtle nest. I'm just not used to turtles nesting this regularly before late May. Um, but yeah, I've noticed quite a few holes along the side of this trail, so oops, something literally just moved right over here. I don't know what it was, but something just moved. I heard a big, like, plop sound. Um, yeah, a bunch, you can hear a bunch of frogs are calling in this little wetland area over here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. I'm sad to see predated turtle nest. So we have finally our first snake of the day. This is an in situ black racer who's just basking along the edge of the trail. I do not want to startle this guy, but there he is right here. He's com completely unfazed by our presence so far. Um, one thing I've really noticed about these southern black racers is they're so much skinnier compared to the northern black racers I've seen up in Massachusetts. But finally, we have a snake on the board for the day, and this is the most common snake that I have seen at this site. In fact, it's the only snake that I've seen at this site. And if I would have to guess, black, southern black racers are probably one of the most common snakes in Georgia, but this, this is still really cool to see nonetheless. So I literally just pulled this off the road. I'm sorry for the gore, but this is a DOR young alligator. This is the first time I've ever seen a DOR gator before. But it's a pretty small one. It's very unfortunate. You can clearly see this is a busy road over here. So um, at first I thought it was a snake, but it is actually a young alligator that's just been gored. This is sucks to see, but this is a very healthy gator population. 
and it's a time of year where alligators are crossing so just like other wildlife roads they are very doesn't matter if it's a gator or a turtle whatever they're extremely detrimental to wildlife um tough to see but also an interesting find so we there is an alligator that's on the side of the road right over here i don't know if it's still here if it dipped no nah, it's gone never oh there it is hey buddy you can see it right there looks like he was trying to cross small gator we're just gonna let him be but really cool never get tired of seeing alligators So we got our first big alligator. You can kind of see its head moving right over there. Um, lately, all the ones that we've been seeing were younger alligators. So I say this one is probably a good six to eight, maybe a six to eight footer, but probably closer to six feet. And you can kind of see his head just swimming along this way. I'm gonna try and get some photos of him and yeah. So there is another alligator that's right over here, and I'm going to demonstrate what happens to non-habituated gators if you get somewhat close to them. That's exactly what happens. I don't know how well I got that on camera, but I literally took one step forward and that gator just fled. Um, so there you go. So this right here looks to be a DOR gray rat snake, or def it's definitely a rat snake. Just found it on the side of the road here. This is a real disappointment. Um, I have not seen a rat snake this year, so this is technically my first rat snake of the year. Um, but he's completely obliterated. I'm just gonna leave, or at least the front half of him is. So I'm just gonna leave him here. I'm pretty confident that this is a rat snake, so disappointing to see but it is the second snake of the day. Okay, everybody, um, I am back, or pretty close to home at this point, uh, and I'm basically calling it a night. Uh, there is a potential, of course, to always see something in the next few minutes from here to my house, but I think that's gonna be it for today. Overall, I think it was a pretty productive day. I mean, gopher tortoise-wise especially, I think that's the most I've ever, most gopher tortoises I've seen out and about just foraging. Um, so that was really cool, and obviously seeing armadillos, uh, that was cool as well. Um, but other than that, really not a whole lot. I mean, we did get a bunch of gators, and did get a couple snakes. One was a DOR, of course, but not a big diversity wise but still really interesting nonetheless and gators and gopher tortoises are animals i never grew up with so to see them over and over again never really does get old uh so yeah i'm a few minutes away from my house i'm probably not gonna uh see anything but if i do i'll film if not this will probably probably be the end of this video and the last that you'll see for me so until next time, unless I see something else, you never know.